Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on a new song from Billie Eilish from her latest album. Uh, the song's called Bittersweet. Beautiful little song. There's loads of different sections, but I'm going to teach you the whole song. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comments section, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, the intro part, a little synth part, sounds like this. Okay, so the first chord is an F sharp minor 9. I'm barring my first finger on the second fret and using my little finger on E4. I'm doing playing it finger style, so I'm playing the E and the, the E2, the G2, the B2, and the E4. So top string and the bottom three strings. The next chord is a G sharp minor 7 chord. Bit of a stretch. First finger E2, second finger on E. Four nearest to your face, third finger on G4, little finger on B4. And I'm playing those strings, so the E, the G, the B, and the E. Into bar two, and we've got an A major seven. First finger E4, second finger B5, third finger on G6. It's a little diag diagonal line, and then you play the A string as well. We then go to a B chord, first finger barred from the A string at the second fret, third finger G4, little finger on B4. Playing the A and the bottom three strings. We then get a C sharp minor nine, which gets used a lot in this song. So C sharp minor nine, second finger on A4, first finger on D2, third finger on G4, this finger on B4. Middle four strings. So that's C sharp minor nine. We then have a B chord, first finger A2, third finger flat across the D, G, and the B strings at the fourth fret. And then we're gonna play a B5 with a little finger after two beats. So one, two, three, four. So the first four bars go. It then repeats and plays bars one, two, and three, and then misses out bar four, and instead goes to a G sharp minor seven chord, which is your second finger E4. You miss a string and put your third finger flat across the D, G, and the B strings at the fourth fret. So the A string gets muted off, but we're doing finger style, so we're playing the E string, D, G, and the B strings all at the same time. Okay, so the second time through then goes like this. That takes us to the verse, which does this. So we're gonna play an F sharp minor seven chord, second finger E to third finger flat cross, D, G, and the B strings at the second fret. And we play the E two, and then the G, D, G, and the B strings three times. We then move and play A4 twice. So bar six goes. Bar number seven is exactly the same, apart from the last two notes, instead of playing A4, you play A6. So bar seven. It then goes to a C sharp minor nine that we played in the intro, and play the A4, then the D, G, and the B string, so D2, G4 and B4, three times. And then play A4 three times. And then the chord again, three times. Then A7, A6. So bars eight and nine slowly go. So 
So the whole line slowly. And up speed. That line repeats, so you play it twice, and then it goes on to the next line, which is kind of like a little bridge part, which goes. So you're gonna play an F sharp minor chord going. So ba, ba, rest, ba, then up two frets to G sharp minor seven. One hit on that. Then an A chord, which is just D2, G2, and B2 with the A string. Three hits, da, da, rest, da. Then the B chord, first finger A2, third finger flat across D, G, and the B strings. So the first two bars go. We then get a C sharp minor nine chord, which we've done already and goes. So four hits on that and then back to a B chord going. Then place A4 and then A6. So the whole of that bridge line goes. On to the next line, and it's kind of like this first chorus. It only comes up once, so in the song, and we've got this. Okay, so F sharp minor seven. You play the E2, and then D, G, and the B strings, and then play it all at the same time. Up two frets and play a G sharp minor seven, just once. These are all on the offbeat, and then an A chord three times on the offbeat, and then a B chord twice on the offbeat. Okay, so the first two bars slowly go. into bar 16 and it's a C sharp minor nine. Four hits on that on the off beats, so one and two and three and four and. Bar 17, we've got two Bs and then add your little finger on B3, uh, sorry, B5 to play a uh, B sus four chord, so. Bar 17 and 18 are the same as the first two bars. And then there's a C minor nine that just holds on and the song slows down until it gets onto the next line. Okay, so the whole of that chorus goes. Again, it slows down onto the next line, and we get this. So the first chord is uh, D minor nine, so same as the C sharp minor nine, but just up one fret. And you've got play the A string and then D, G, and the B strings going. So it goes. And it does that twice in a bar, really slowly. One. So the tempo now is like one, two, three, four, like really slowed down the tempo. Um, you could probably count it double time, but I've written it um, 
like that. And then we've got E7, which is your first finger on B5. Second finger on D6. Third finger A7. So it's kind of like a C, like open C chord shape. And then add your little finger on the G7. Okay, and you play the same rhythm that we did on the D minor. Then A minor 7 chord, second finger E5, third finger flat across the D, G and the B strings at the 5th fret. Same idea, but then you're playing the root note on the E string, and then D, G and B strings. Leave your third finger there and just move your first finger to A3, and we've got a C chord. So A3 and then D, G and the B strings at the 5th fret. You've got Okay, so the whole line goes. And that repeats around loads of times. It repeats around nine times. On the last time round, it slows down. It does a row, so the last time you sort of gradually get slower through the whole of that last time through. And then we get this um, instrumental sort of part. Um, it's a lot of noise, but the chords are going like this. It goes one, two, three, four, So for that C major 7, first finger A3, second finger D2, and then bottom three strings are just open. So, two, three, four, it hits again. We then have an E minor chord, but just play from the A string. So A2, D2, D, G, and B strings. So don't play the top string, play from the A string. So that's an E minor slash B. Two bars of that. Back to a C major 7, and two, three, then E minor hitting all the strings, then a D chord, which is your first finger on G2, second finger on E2, third finger B3, playing from the D string downwards, and then there's an A minor chord, which is just your first finger on B1, second finger D2, third finger G2, playing from the A string downwards. Um, so literally just play straight through those, um, one chord per bar, uh, there's no guitar, but th those are the chords that you can hear. It's just a really slow count, so like one, two, three, four, in each bar. Um, you'll hear in bar 27, the synth comes in, so you'll know if you're in the right place, so on, on bar 27, you'll hear the note B, there's a like, synth coming in. Uh, so that's that little instrumental line. And then the last little outro part, there's two lines. Uh, the first line goes like this. So to play that A3 and E3 nearest to the floor, then you play E, E3, E, E3, E, and then B3, then E. So it's. Then it does exactly the same thing, but the, the lower note, instead of A3, goes to D2. Into the next bar, and we play the open D string and E2 nearest to the floor. E, E2, E, E2. E3, E2, E, and then A string with E2, E, and then B1. So the first two bars of that line go. And 
And then the next two bars sort of are almost the same. So the first bar is the same. Bar 36 changes slightly. It starts the same. But then just plays A and B1. And then there's two E5s on the end of that line. So bars 35 and 36 go. which takes us to the last line where we've got which is A3 and E5 E3, E3, E5, E5 so then A, sorry, D2 and E5, E3 E3, E7, twice. So bar 37 goes. And then D string with E7, E5, E5, E8, E7, and then E8 with the A string, E7, B8, B7, and B5. So the whole of the last line goes. And that's the whole song. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful. It's quite a confusing song because there's no real repeats. It just keeps changing different sections. So well done if you got all the way through that. Um, if you want the tabs for this, I'll put them on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. That really helps me um, do these videos. So come support me on there on the Patreon. Um, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all the usual stuff. Um, I've got an Instagram account, Andy Hillier Guitar, so come give me a follow on there as well. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.